Europeans when I was in Gaza. The there you go. A black man. Okay. And, I, and, and you have to really ask yourself, how is it that when you're talking about you know ancient Africa, I, I knew that there'd be some toxic masculinity. We got back. Uh, we did a full review of the film in terms okay. of what we thought, uh, the pros and the cons. Uh, is that boys? Summarize that, and you can check out the review, uh, the full review. Why you sound like that? VoiceandAlishaTV.com. VoiceandAlishaTV.com. That's our, our channel. Um, basically, it was interesting because I thought the movie wasn't terrible because I kind of knew what to expect. You know, I know how Hollywood is. I know what the agenda looks like. I knew that the film would probably be filled with narratives that were based on uh, mostly white leftist feminism, okay. uh, based on uh, LGBT issues, transgender issues, maybe a Me Too moment or two. I, I knew that there'd be some toxic masculinity, uh, particularly from a black male um, in the film. And, it, and then the film didn't disappoint. It checked every single box when you mm. talk about the white liberal agenda. You know, um, you know in fact, the, it was really interesting. And this is something I didn't observe when I was watching the film was that the arch rival of Viola Davis's character wasn't actually racist white people. You know, the Europeans were not the arch rival. The arch rival was actually a black man. And I and, and you have to really ask yourself, how is it that when you're talking about you know ancient Africa or not ancient, but, you know, the African history and the slave trade, how is it that the Europeans are not the number in public enemy number one? And so OK. <clears throat> Let's um, expand and go on that. So you mentioned a few topics. What do you guys, um, why does my audio sound like that? Um, well, what, whatever, yeah. whatever decision you made to, uh, you know, to get us to hear that, just go back. <laughs> yeah, just go back. You, you'll be good. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. They would do the screen share. Um, let's just keep. I'm trying to click it. And, um, Is it in the screen share? No. Yeah, yeah, I ended it. Okay. Yeah, let's go from there. See what's up. Yeah, so what do you think about the voice? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let uh let our good brother oh, Capo yeah. let, let our good brother Capo oh. deal with, deal with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Um, what I think about that, um, I actually, you know, I, I seen it, but you know, as much as he lined it up, you know, um, scenario for what I seen with my own two eyes during the movie, I really couldn't correlate the two, but I definitely do, um, agree with, uh, certain scenes that were, um, very, uh, 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 relatable to this day, you know what I'm saying? And just seeing certain placements with people and, um, dressed in different clothing and representing certain type of symbolism really uh, showed me that even back then, they still going through the same problems that we're going through right now. Um, seeing our own brothers selling us for, you mm. know, the wealth and riches is like, you know, just another thing we still doing to in this day and age. So just seeing that back then, like literally like yesterday, I just thought that this was the only day and age that, you know, gives up their, their, their life for the wealth and riches and want more and want to have more uh, uh, wealthiness, more food, whatever the case may be. I've just thought that only this generation has been that way. Mm. But just watching that movie shows me that, you know, the, the, the strategical plan that they had was been in, been, been in effect since long ago, you know, to really separate us and make us want to be able to feed ourselves, you know? So, um, I think on what he said, uh, you know, even with the LGBTQ um, having uh, them, he did check some of those boxes. I yeah. don't think it was like negative. Yeah, but it was. Um, I guess it was there. So yeah, like you had the eunuch, you mm -hmm. was sassy, but it wasn't like it didn't feel forced though. Yeah, it didn't feel like hey, you. It was like in the way Ben was saying it too. I think it was actually kind of very slick how he did it. But it still had it, I guess. I guess they had boxes, like, in, in the producers was uh -huh. like, we need that, we need that, we need that. Check off, check off, check off. You know what I'm saying? Check off. Yeah. I didn't see no, um, I didn't see any females staring too hard at each other, though. I didn't see, like, no lesbianism. Nothing, like, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, no, no, not really, but I have to feel like just off of the, you know, um, the, how tough they made the woman look. They made the woman look as if they were on, on, on only 
interested in maybe women, you know what I'm saying? The way they was just so, uh, I could say the, uh, the, the woman who became king, you know, I, at first I thought she was, she wasn't into men, you know, and then, um, her, her, be, her best, I think her best friend or her best warrior, I thought she, she was too tough. They, all, all the women seem too tough to really be wanting, wanting to be in love with a man. So, you know, but I mean, what is too tough to be in love with a man? Oh, <laughs> From my point of view, is just you know <laughs> acting, acting like you don't need help. You know, even they said it themselves. You know, uh, uh, love makes you weak. You know, and it, it might make you more vulnerable, but I don't think it makes you more weak. You know, if anything, it could make you much more stronger. You know, what I'm saying depending on how you look at it, how we all look at it, we yeah. look at things from different point of views. So everybody has a different say when it comes down to it. But um, yeah, Shorty said that she was. Uh, she said love made you weak, and you know not to look at the man. Don't don't go run off seeing men and you know um people who are care i think i'm not if i'm not mistaken curious uh, uh uh you know could hurt the crew or fall off and you know fall off and be their own oh okay okay what do you think they know about the, the voice clip <laughs> well you you're well let me say this right um <laughs> i think that that's that algorithm shit that he mm-hmm. that he's doing, you okay. know, in terms of um, you know certain certain points, we make points, we create points, we create talking points, oh. we, you know, we create uh, you know negative narratives because that's what feeds the algorithm, mm-hmm. you know, like. You got a lot of negativity surrounding this film as though Joker's is on payroll some damn way yeah. to, to come out against it. And you know, it's you know, it's like folk that haven't even, you know, seen the joint is doing, you know, two hours and three hours, you know, YouTube's on the joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's 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 crazy, right? It's crazy, but um, you know, liberal leftist ideology. Where I didn't, it, how you say it didn't, it didn't, it didn't connect with me. It didn't yeah. connect with me, right? You know what I'm saying? And I studied, I studied political science. In you know what I'm saying? It 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 didn't. If it was there, like some deliberate. Yo, let me push this to you. It wasn't there. I didn't I didn't get it. Right? Um, you know, some quote unquote toxic max masculinity, whatever the hell that, that is, oh, wait, right? Yeah. Hold on. I didn't you can't see that. Right? I mean I mean I didn't really see it. I mean it's the main dude, the main tiger. If anything, I mean, it wasn't really that I mean. It was warrior stuff. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How you say? What? Is, what is this toxic, toxic masculinity it bullshit they talk? You know what I mean? Like it's a female. Mm-hmm. Oh, you no, know what I mean? No, no, it was, it was, it was, it was. I at the beginning. This it's check. It wasn't. Good. I mean, I can say it wasn't bad, but they do check some of these boxes. All right, this right here. The beginning where the main daughter got slapped, and the father just sat there like there was nothing wrong. And he was like, you talking back? You mean he's trying to sell the, the daughter? Mm-hmm. I think that was some, you know, some toxic you, shit. You, you, know, think, woman, you think that was you think that was toxic you know, masculinity? It was, I mean, what would we'll be toxic masculinity called? Right? Well, see, that's that's yo. So here, here's my he issue, said, right? He said that he said because he was a man. He was like, I'm a man, you're a woman, you're gonna respect like like that was it's like you know, yo what as as my mm-hmm. wife you're going to learn to obey the Senate this is what he says so mm-hmm. here's my thing right he said because he's a man I guess so yo I would consider masculine here's my issue I slap bitches <laughs> yo here, I wasn't gonna say that I was gonna say that I wasn't gonna say that right you know you know I say, yo, my my, cat, my character makes his introduction in the film, my love, my love, my love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, so, so look, we have to be careful mm-hmm. of ascribing, right, um, criticisms 
based on modern Western oh. ideologies and perspectives to traditional cultures that have traditional value systems that have traditional, um, you know, what you call uh, gender roles, right? Mm -hmm. We have to be careful trying to assign our our shit, put it off on them, right? And and like, okay, saying that's toxic masculinity. First and foremost, this place here is trying to create a blur in the whole shit. What is masculine? What is feminine? What is a man? What is a woman? Right? Now they got this shit cis, cis woman and you know what I'm saying? And all this other dumb shit that they're doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, like like all of this, all of this uh this uh you know Peter Pan Neverland bullshit, right? <laughs> so yo, like <clears throat> You're dealing with a with a with a culture with a with a continent that has always had strong um, value system, strong gender roles, right? Well defined gender roles, rites of passages where you're you're initiated into manhood and womanhood. You know what I mean? And and there are certain. Uh, certain things and expectations that that are put on you and before you, right? Mm. Based on your gender. Because of you being of a certain gender, there's a particular way that you're expected to behave and function roles that you're that you're supposed to function in and carry out in the society. So you know in that Yo, there's there now in saying that I'm not saying that just because it's traditional is correct or because it's African it's correct. Mm -hmm. And in no way, shape, or form am I defending um uh, the actions of the character in the film, right? But I am saying that there's a problem with trying to call that toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's that's a cultural situation there, right? You're coming from a you're coming from a different culture, yeah. right? So, so you, you don't know about that, right? But if you grew up in the South, right, you might have seen some of that strong gender role in your house, mm -hmm. right? Some of us, how you say, some some of us, you know, we you know, we talking that talk like um <laughs> like you know, you gotta be a man, right? You have to be a woman for your for you know your your father or your husband to you know or your spouse, right, or parent to slap the shit out of you, right? Like your mother wouldn't slap the shit out of you just as fast. I got slapped. I you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, Joker's acting like Joker's acting like they like they old lady, right? Meaning, meaning they they girl, right? Mm -hmm. Their wife when she get hot, like she wouldn't slap the shit out of you or try to sock you, right? So you know, my thing is we gotta cut the bullshit following behind these crackers with the dumb shit. You know what I mean? And really look at look at shit for what it is. No, this is an African culture. They got different values, right? Yeah, um, you know, you know, if we got a problem with it, it's because of the perspective that we're coming from. Now that 